Yes, indeed, you too. It is your guy, 74 Midwest Base, and we are back. Obviously, we got mail. So everybody that knows, that's been around, and been tuned in, knows that this package has been a long time coming, but the time is finally here. As you can see, we pre-opened it and everything to make the video run a little bit smoother. So without further ado, let's get right into it. This should be. This box open. Bubble wrap, a good sign. The previous one of these I got did not come with bubble wrap, but the one that I ordered previously came straight from the manufacturer. This one I didn't want to wait that long, so I got it from a US dealer. Yes, indeed. Get it out of the package and be back. Yes, sir. So, like I said, bubble wraps. Yes, indeed. We've got the, another one. Our second Stetson EX8000 EQ is in. You already know. 16K on deck. That's what you got. A lot. So, first impressions. You see that on the box itself, you've got little dents, things like that, which could be a bad sign. It's meaning that it's been mishandled somewhere along the shipping process. But let's get on in. Second thing you notice is that the plastic is already open. But Hey, you guys can see what it is. Stetson EX8000 EQ, the second one. And like I say, the first one we got did not come with the booklet, spec sheet, or anything. So that lets me know that this is most likely a revised model. Yes, indeed. Set that to the side for now. Plastic off. Indeed. So, like I say, first impressions. It's looking pretty good. When we get to the other side, just like I thought, this one has been mishandled. As you can see right there, we got a small dent. It's no good. On this side here, see that the mounting hardware has also been dented right there. And also, we've got a slight crack right there. So that's not good at all. But, let's say we'll get it install check it out but you already know most likely we're gonna send this one back yes indeed and get one that's nice so the first difference you can tell from the old one to the new one is where the inputs are they've got a different style of input and this one has little rings on the outside the other one the original one that we got two plus years ago didn't have that also, on the other side, like I always tell you guys, you get a new amp, you going to make sure that all the dials are on zero. This one, that's not the case. As you can see, they've been adjusted, so that's the first sign that maybe this one has been used. Or, you know, maybe when they tested it in the factory, they didn't set it back, but like I say, with damage and adjusted dials, that is a sign that you 
don't want to see when purchasing a brand new amp. But just as an app like the last one, other than the minor differences that we've addressed, it's pretty much the same thing. So, like I say, I won't go into too much detail about this one. This is just more of a reveal than an unboxing. Yes, indeed. Go to the back. See that the, the safety stickers are still intact. Yes, indeed. Model number. But, like I said, YouTube, not too much going on. Go to the spec sheet. The way I've got the camera set up, I'll have to do it in reverse. But, like I said, the last one didn't come with this booklet, so we'll show it. You open it up, it's got all of the, the diagram for whatever all the knobs are inputs fans yes indeed also the diagram for the power ground and remote wire yes, and then they give you a little diagram of how to hook it up yes indeed so fast forward and fast care they say they've got it in multiple languages so it's not a full book of specs it's same specs repeated over and over in different languages. So we will get to the English. So this is the English. This is the So like I said, I won't go into too much detail. Everything is specified on the spec sheet. But for the technical specifications, like I said, just like on the last one. 8,000 at 1 ohm, 4,500 at 2 ohms, 2,500 at 4 ohms, yes indeed, and we do have the 1 ohm version, like I say, for those who've been tuned in, y'all know that these amps will be powering 4 American Base XFL 15s, so we'll get this installed and do a comparison from our first score to the score with 2 amps. Yeah, minor spoiler alert. Like I said, I got four American based XFL 15s. I got the dual four ohm versions of the XFLs, which right now puts our other amp running at two ohms. And the reason I did that is because from the beginning I knew that I was going to get this amp and run two amps to the four XFLs. And with one amp split between two speakers, everybody should know that puts them puts both amps at one ohm. So everybody who's seen the score, I don't think I've ever, you know, told you, but I, that is running at two ohms. My other EX8000 EP has been running at two ohms the whole time. So I haven't even been getting full power out of it. But like I said, that was part of the plan, which for anybody who's tuned into my tech, Quick Tech Tick Tuesday videos, that's the most important part in building the system, is planning ahead. So like I said, I wasn't really worried about it this whole time running at two ohms because the plan from the beginning was to get another one and run it at one ohm per pair. Yes, indeed, you two. So like I said, I won't go into too much detail. I'm just here to let you know that I got another one and it's going down. Base season 22. Guys, pulling out all the stops, going full fledged. So, like I say, this is just the first of many packages that we got. You see, we got that, we got that. Yes, indeed. And a few more coming. Just to give you a hint, one of the major packages that's coming. I'm waiting on it because it's being custom built. That's all I'll say about that. For anybody that's still watching, you can put a guess in the comments of what the next big item is that I've got coming. And the hint is that they're having a special building. So for the first person who, who can guess that in the comments, we'll have a giveaway for them. You know, 
But as I say, I've held you guys long enough for approaching 10 minutes. So like I said, this is just a reveal to let all my subscribers and YouTube family that's been tuned in know, or anybody that just might be getting tuned in, subscribe to your guy. The home of the massive giveaways and massive base. Yes, indeed, YouTube, but as your guy, we out of here, man. Hold up.